Hello everyone and welcome back to Detroit Muscles little tiny garage. Yeah, it's tiny. I got a big cars in here. It's only two car garage. And I don't have that much room. But anyways, today uh, I got the best opportunity to prep my new truck for the winter, guys. Outside, it's nice and sunny. It's gonna be about 45 degrees today. So I'm gonna wait a little longer. Till the weather warms up a little bit, then I'm gonna close down the garage, I'm gonna turn on the heater inside the garage and hopefully I'm gonna be able to bring the temperature up to 55 degrees and um, I want to do a wax on the truck so it's gonna be somewhat protected over the, the winter. Some of you guys have been watching my channel, if you remember on my white 2018 truck just for a one inter, how much grime and a nasty stuff stuck to the truck so I had to clay bar it and clean that that was a nightmare guy and that was only one winter but imagine if you don't have any wax on your truck or on your car and you have a weather condition like I have here up in Michigan guys that's a terrible for your truck so I'm gonna take this opportunity today to um, give it a nice coat of wax on my truck so I'm gonna use these three products right here and I'm gonna put the uh, link in description down below from the products if you guys like you can check it out and buy them for your own truck I just want to say that I'm not sponsored or anything I don't have any ties to these three products that I'm using whatsoever none period I just like these three products I've been using it all alone I've been using it for my Hellcat I've been using it for my other cars and they work halfway decent guys and they're super super nice and easy to apply on your vehicle and, and, and they perform very nicely in my opinion but that being said i already did two applications yesterday this this right here this product right here guys it's a i have mentioned it before in my other videos it's a wax and dry from turtle wax after you wash your truck when it's wet you spray the product on it and you wipe it up and help you out uh, dry it off faster and also put some light coat of vaccine on it and after I did that yesterday yesterday was much uh, colder it was about 30 degrees so I don't think it stuck very much but I did it anyways I used this product right here uh, turtle wax also I'm, I'm loving this turtle wax lately guys they got a, awesome products I use this one turtle turtle wax I spray wax it's very it's super super easy to to apply on your truck believe me guys and it works fantastic you know on the end of the video i'm gonna pull the truck out and i'm gonna splash some water on it just to show you how well the water gonna repel from the paint and it's gonna beat and also the greatest thing about these three products that i'm using right now you can apply those guys on a, anything on your truck for example i'm gonna go you can apply on a black rubber plastic trims like that and won't turn any residue they just gonna make it shine like crazy you can apply it on your window it's gonna repel water you can apply it even on your rubber on your vinyl top and i already tested it out this morning a little bit with the water and the water runs off of it like crazy guys believe me it's a, those three products are very very nice and uh, last but not least guys i didn't even knew that i have this product at home I, I I have this over the summer sometime I bought it and I was using it on my car and I accidentally I went through my cabinet little cabinet over there I'm like oh look I still have this and it's a halfway full so I was so happy to see it that is still there so I'm gonna apply this is a also sealant and shine protection uh, protects for a month it says on it and it's very very nice guys and this sticks on the vehicle hell of a lot longer than this and i'm telling you over the winter this truck gonna be protected i mean it's gonna wear out from the salt and snow and whatnot but this this stays on your paint for a long time so i'm very happy and glad that i still have this at home so that being said guys like i said i'm gonna close down the garage and i'm gonna turn on the heater hopefully i'm gonna be able to bring the temperature up to 55 in here if even if 50 i'll be happy with it but um most of these waxes it's saying you can if you apply it on a temperature below 55 just uh, the stuff won't stick stick on, on the sheet metal and whatnot so it might come off much easier but that being said i'm gonna turn everything on hopefully i'm gonna heat up the garage well 
and uh, I'm gonna apply it, I'm gonna pull the chalk out and I'm gonna show you afterwards. And also, I can't forget about this, if you guys do this, spend a little bit more money, do not use your regular towels that you use in your bathroom to wash yourself, to, to apply any kind of product or dry your vehicles because you're gonna scratch the shit out of it. You have to have some high quality microfibers like this. this these are been used from before. I have it probably for a whole season from a last summer. I've been using it on my Hellcat and whatnot. And these are great, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find those on Amazon and I'm gonna put the link in the description down below if you wanna buy them. I highly recommend them. They're thick and they're super, super nice and soft. And they work great to dry off your vehicle or to apply spray waxes on your car. Alright well, guys, without further ado, I'm gonna do what I told you, I'm gonna close down the garage and I'm gonna try to heat it up a little bit and then I'm gonna apply the wax and uh, I'm gonna show you the choke after when uh, hopefully we're gonna, be prote we're gonna have a nice protection to let me uh, during the winter and to keep this choke nice and shiny for a long time. Because so far guys, I'm telling you, I'm really, really loving this truck and I'm, I'm keep on telling my wife and my kids, I'm gonna keep this truck. After the lease is up, I'm keeping this truck. And they're laughing at me because they know that I, I get tired of cars very fast. Says, yeah, by the time you return it, they're gonna come up with something new and you're gonna be, you're gonna be like, nah, I'm gonna need the new stuff. But so far, I feel it in my heart is I'm keeping this truck because I love it so much. So nice, so nice. All right, guys. I will see you later. All right, guys. So I come up with this ingenious plan to get my garage nice and hot. I fired up the truck, put it outside to idle. I fired up the savage. I went out for a drive, got it nice and hot. Pop the hood. Pop the hood there, and I got a little heater going over here. So. Now inside the garage, it's nice and toasty, probably 65 degrees. Look at me, short sleeves. It's excellent. So that being said, I'm just gonna hurry up right now. I'm gonna take advantage of this nice and uh, of the heat and apply the uh, apply the wax on the truck. I'm gonna wax it up nicely. I'm gonna apply a couple coats, wipe it off. Then I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna show you guys how well this thing repels water so hopefully that's gonna keep the truck somewhat protected during the winter months all right i will see you later after i'm done with the work i'm not gonna be boring you so how to this is very straightforward guys this stuff you spray it on microfiber towel you massage it into the panel get the clean one take the residue out you're done there is no mess like old school waxes uh, Wax on, wax off, and leave all white spots. Super easy, super nice, super friendly. Friendly use. This is, it's gonna be breeze. It's gonna be fun to do it. Wow, it's nice and toasty inside the garage. I bet you it's about 65 degrees in here. Very nice. I will see you after I'm done with the work. Ha! Huh, walking around the garage, I found my old Harley thermometer meter. So let's see if the camera can catch this. Come on, zoom in. Where are we at? Okay, here we go. It's close to 60 degrees. So that's gonna make it perfect temperature to apply this, to apply this uh, wax. It's awesome, I already finished this one panel. Now I'm gonna move the side of the truck. Then I'll go on the other side for a front and back. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to open the garage and I'm gonna do that very fast and hopefully the panel is gonna be still warm so it's gonna accept it very nice and I'm gonna pull the truck back in and let it sit overnight in a garage to get cured and tomorrow back to work and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Okay guys, the job is done, about 90% of it. Now I'm gonna open the garage up and pull it out a little bit and I'm gonna touch up a little bit. I just want to show you something how well this product is right here guys. I, I'm, I'm serious. Like I said, I'm not sponsored by these guys or anything, you know. I just love this product. Applies so easy and the truck is so slick right now. Very nice. And almost, I haven't buffed it off yet. I just applied it. As you can see, you don't almost, you don't even need to buff it. 
I mean, that's how nice this goes on, guys. It's very, very, very nice. Well, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the truck, this truck out of the sunlight. I mean, hopefully it's the sun outside or just daylight and whatnot. And uh, I'm gonna inspect it a little bit better. And I'm gonna finish. I come reach on the top of the, in the center of the uh, tunnel cover to apply and a little bit on the top. But uh, I'm gonna go outside and finish it, touch it up, and I'm gonna do the front a little bit more in a bag, but I'm gonna inspect it. I haven't even buffed it off yet. I just spray and wipe off with this uh, um, microfiber towel. On the one side, it's all nice and wet. I just wipe everything all off and the truck looks amazing right now, the way it is. But like I said, I'm gonna pull it out right now and I'm gonna take a good look at it. I'm gonna touch it up and I'm gonna do the wheels as well. By the way, I love these wheels. And then I'm gonna do a little bit test for you guys with the water to show you how well that product works. And I'm gonna show you how that product works on any surface of the truck. Anything, the black, the plastic, rubber, uh, windows, paint, everywhere. I put every little square inch of this truck is treated. So I really hate to uh, make it wet, but we're gonna do it just for a purpose of this video. So here you go, enjoy it. that nothing sticks I'm gonna go nice beatings nothing sticks like I said I hate the There you guys saw it. I hate it to make it wet, but you can see how well that product works. So that hopefully is gonna stay and protect the truck do, throughout the winter. And now I'm gonna go dry it off the, the, the water. I'm gonna put it back in and I'm gonna do a buff job on the truck and I'll be ready to go and uh, enjoy the truck the whole winter. It's got a nice sheen to it. As you can see, no white residue anywhere. There is some smears on it, I can see, like I said, but I haven't buffed the truck up. Now I'm gonna pull it back in the garage and I'm gonna do a nice uh, buffing job. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon with another video.